All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Daily Update of my 1000 Days Challenge. This is day 165, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, you'll notice the balance has dropped a little bit as well and that was due to actually a trigger stop loss from one of my main trading account. So you can see over here, the drop was due to the main account that actually dropped another 100. So there was a long setup that was taken and then there was further volatility at night. So we took up the stop loss and now it's right on track again. So yeah, I'll talk more about this in Bitcoin on what happened and, and how I'm playing it out. Right. But other than that, in terms of the traditional financial market for S&P, Nasdaq, KWeb and ASHR, most of it remains relatively the same in terms of market structure. Yeah, it's exactly the same. They did drop a little bit overnight and, and that resulted, I wouldn't say that resulted and correlated in a sense with Bitcoin in terms of the drop that happened last night as well. All right, and yeah, so I'm just going to very do a very quick run through in terms of Bitcoin because there isn't any much change in terms of market structure. For S&P 500, Nasdaq, ASH and KWeb, I'm still waiting for further retracement or pullback before entering further long-term investment. But particularly for Bitcoin's file, what I mentioned, is highly extended above the 21-week exponential moving average. So there's something to bear in mind that if we do retrace, we do potentially could have a large collection, large, uh, what I got a large pullback in terms of the, in terms of the absolute value. So we could drop from here to even around twenty one thousand regions to find support. That could be something that could be in the cuts. All right, there's something to bear in mind. And secondly, you can see we've been supported at this twenty exponential moving average on the daily chart. And finally, on the four hourly chart, I draw this new setup is potentially if it does break above here. So, if you do notice previously, we were supported at this 50 simple moving average once, 50 moving average twice, and now that we have it was even supported for the third term, but it didn't sustain. Instead, it actually broke downwards. So, once it broke downwards, why potentially we could face some resistance over here. So, support, support, support turn resistant bridge and now it turn resistance so there's something to bear in mind so however, i'm definitely not going to short over here bear in mind that over this climb even though this was a very strong in terms of volume the volume did start to decline overall so i do see potential pullback which is why i'm not entering along in terms of purely price action so there's something to bear in mind and yeah so i do lean towards along but potentially if it has very nice consolidation especially above this range of 331k region and then it breaks above there's where i'll enter alongside up with this as the breakout trade and then this is the yeah so the target will be somewhere along here the previous all-time high and around 41.8k region so yeah this could be a wake up uh potential play to do on the four hour time frame so yeah I do want to see some sort of consolidation over here first before entering along. So I was one at least five candles. So tentatively, I will need 20 hours or approximately 13 of January, 8 a.m. in terms of UTC plus eight. Yep, so that's basically more or less what I have in mind. If it does drop, I'm not looking to short, especially on a four hour time frame. If however, you are looking to trade on a shorter time frame, yes, you could consider to short to write some short-term momentum in that sense but for me i'm trading on a larger long, longer time frame so i'm not interested to short for now so yeah that's more or less about it and i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye bye